Hello YouTube, this is Paolo from Technical Support Team of Jaspersoft. This is a demo of how to use SVN version control systems with Jaspersoft Studio. After watching this video, you will be able to set up your Jaspersoft Studio instance to maintain current and historical versions of files essential for developing Jasper reports, such as JIRXML files, dataset XML files, etc. In this video, I will cover the basics of versioning control, basically SVN, we will set up our own sample SVN server, we will configure a Jaspersoft Studio connection to uh, any SVN project, and in the end of the video I will present you the uh, docs and links to our wiki knowledge base, which might be helpful in your further researches. But uh, at first, for those of you who don't know, Jaspersoft Studio is an Eclipse-based report designer for Jaspersoft library and Jasper report server. It's available as an Eclipse plugin or a standalone application. Jaspersoft Studio allows you to create sophisticated layouts containing charts, images, subreports, cross tabs, and more. Uh, you can access your data through a variety of sources, including GDBC, table models, Java Beans, XML, etc. Uh, then you can publish your reports as PDF, RTF, XML, CSV, HTML, and uh, DOCX formats. So, uh, Apache Subversion or SVN uh, manages files and directories and the changes made to them over time. This allows you to record, recover all the versions of files or examine the history of how your data changed. SVN can operate across networks, which allows it to be used by people on different computers. At some level, the ability for various people to modify and manage the same set of data from their respective locations uh, fosters collaboration. And because the work is versioned, you need no fear if the incorrect change to the data is made, just undo the change. For you, those files might be the Jasper Report source codes for others, anything from uh, grocery shopping list to g digital video mixdowns and beyond that. Um, now let's get to some practice. First of all, we of course need to set up our own uh, test SVN server. Mm, for this purpose, we need to download the uh, manager client application. There are a bunch of them, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will use uh, Visual SVN Server. Uh, it is available at visualizesvn.com. Uh, the process of installing Visual SVN Server is pretty straightforward, so I will skip it. You just need to select the appropriate version of the application, uh, download it, and uh, perform the installation. After those steps, you will be able to um, to open the Visual SVN Server user interface. So, uh, we need to create a repository and a user to maintain this repository. Uh, for this purpose, we right-click on the Repositories menu, create new, select regular, uh, we provide a name for our repository, just repo let it be, next, uh, if it will be empty for now, and uh, we don't want to, every user to have access to our repository. We select create and uh, we will need uh, this URL later. Now we create a user. I have already created one user, so uh, let's create another one. The, pro the process is pretty straightforward. You just provide a username and uh, the uh, password to like for as a basic authentication. Now we need to give permissions to our repository for specific users. We click properties and uh, on security tab we can add a user for uh, managing uh, this repository. That's it, our repository is ready to go. Now we need to configure Jaspersoft Studio to create connection to our SVN server. For this purpose, we need to add another perspective because by default there is no menu to handle SVN connections. For this purpose, we click Open Perspective in top right section and uh, SVN repository. Choose the SVN Repository Explorer. Here, uh, we select SVN Repository tab, click New Repository Location, and we need to provide it a URL. Uh, this URL can be copied from here. 
by right clicking to our apple we can copy uh, its url to clipboard finish subversion is talking to eclipse and jasper Sub studio of course through sub clips it is another add-on to managing uh, version control systems so we provide the user password we created previously and click OK. So it is done. We connected our repository. Now let us create a new project. For this purpose, we click New Project. We select SVM. Check out project from SVM. We select our repository. Click Next. We select the root folder of our repository and click Finish. This will ask us to create new project which will be placed in the um, root folder of our repository. Okay, let's get back to our report designer perspective. Our SVN project is here. So now let us create a simple report. That would be one of the samples. Next. Could be... So I created a sample project, a sample report, and uh, now I want to, the changes to be reflected in my repository. To apply changes to our repository, we need to right-click on our project, select Commit, and uh, commit our changes. Commits are basically endpoints of changes of files. You need to provide some name, so uh, the next person who will be working with Repository will understand what was that commit about. This is initial commit, so we can leave it like that. We click OK. Changes has been committed. Now, if we check the SVN tab, we can see that our project now contains all of files from the Studio project. If we also go back to our SVN manager and uh, refresh it, we also can find those files. Now, if we need to check the history of file. So this is the first version of file. This number one is basically the version of file. Now let's get back to perspective and uh, make some change to it. We remove the image. Let's make another commit. We save the changes. We are telling what we did and uh, click OK. So now, as you can see, the cherry XML file, which we changed, is version 2 and was changed a minute ago. And the image hasn't been changed, so it remains version 1. We go back to SVN repository and uh, click Update. You can see that cherry XML has, has been updated. Another good option for surfing your SVN repository is history. It provides an entire history of changing resources. Uh, revision, date, author of uh, the change, and uh, the text of commit. So that's basically it. That's how SVN works alongside JasperSoft Studio. Also, as I promised, there is a list of documents and uh, other useful links you may check out to increase your knowledge of uh, versioning. Happy coding! Goodbye!